Okay, so today's lesson we are going to be going over most of the grammar that is in chapter two. So if you're following along, just look at the sections in chapter two that say al qawaid your grammar. So we are going to be going over back al uh, jamaa the plurals. We're going to be talking about uh, plurals and pronouns and plurals in nouns. So we'll start with al dhamaid, which are your pronouns. So far. We've already done first person singular in pronouns. So you guys already know how to say I or me, Anna. We know how to do second person singular, Anta and Enti. So remember if you're talking to someone who's male, Anta with a Fatha. And if you're talking to someone who's female, Enti with a Kasra. So if I want to say you're a student, Anta Talib. Enti Taliba. So you guys know these pronouns already. And then the third ones that um, we have done are third person. So when you're talking about someone, hoa, he, and heya, she. So if you say, uh, hoa talib jadid, he's a new student. Heya taliba jadida, she's a new student. So these are the pronouns that we know, and all of them that we have done are all when you're singular there when you're talking about one person. So what we're going to talk about today is how do you talk about groups of people? Okay, so the plural pronouns. The first one is first person. So Anna is the singular. If you're a group of people, we say Nahnu, we. And I put a side note here that Nahnu is the same for male and female. So it doesn't matter if you're a group of people that you're that you are talking about, if you guys are male or if you're female or if you're both men and women, it doesn't matter. It's gender neutral. So we say Nahnu. Okay? So we Nahnu Fisaf. We are in class. Okay. So this is your plural for first person. In second person, we said enta and enti. What you'll notice stays the same is the ent part. But when we talk to a group of people, like y'all, you all, we say entum. And entum is the masculine plural, but it's also used for mixed groups. So if you have a group of men and women, you would also use entum. But if you have a group that is only women and you're talking to them, so let's say you have a group of friends and there are three girls, then we would say entunna. Okay. And this noon that we have with the shad, that's called noon and niswas, the feminine noon. So you'll notice that this is a pattern that exists and not just entunna, but other words that we'll learn as well. For the purpose of this class, right now we'll be using entum. And I'm not going to quiz you on entunna, but I did want to mention it because it's good to know that there is a feminine pronoun. Okay. So entum. So if I'm talking to all of you, my students, I would say Entum, you guys. Okay, but if I'm talking to a group of just women, entunna. And then of course we have third person. So we already did hua and hia, he and she. So how do we say they or them? We say hum. So this is remember third person ra'ib means they're not here or you're talking about them. You're not talking to them. Okay, so hum, they are fisaf in class. And again. Notice when you have just the feminine, if it's a group of females, we say hunna. So you have this noon with the shadda that repeats. So we saw that in entunna, and now we see that again in hunna. So this is only if you're speaking to a group of specifically just women. But if your group is male and female, or just male, then we use home. So for the purpose of this class, same thing. We're only going to be using home. We're not going to be using hunna as much, and I'm not going to quiz you on it. There are also dual pronouns. So when you're talking about two people, um, we have a separate pronoun for that, but we won't be learning that right now. Okay. So here's a nice chart. Your book has one too, but I think that this one's a little bit clearer. So we've, I've got the singular here on the right when you're talking about one person and then multiple, three or more. This first line is first person, right? So the person who's talking. So Anna, I, Nahnu, we. Anta, anti, you. Okay, so this anta, fatha, you masculine, if you're talking to a male, anti, if you're talking to a female. But if you're talking to a group of people, so now we got the plural, entum and entunna. So right now we'll just focus on entum. 
And then third person is this last row here, hua, hea, he and she, and they, hum. Okay, and again, hunna we have for the feminine, but we'll focus right now just on hum. Okay, so let's do a little, little quiz. What pronouns would you describe the following images? So in this one, he's talking to a group of people. So he's saying you all, y'all, and tum. Very good. In this, they're talking about somebody. They're not looking at him, but they're talking about him. Hoa. How about if it's all of us? Nahnu. All right, she's talking about them. So how would I say they or them? Home. This one should be easy. You already know this one. Anna. Okay, if we're talking about her, he, uh, she. Now what I want you to do is go and complete drill six on page 26. What you're going to do is you will have um, some sentences and you're going to fill in the blank using the proper pronoun. So at, at this point, just pause. When you finish the drill, come back. Okay, here's the drill that you guys did. So here we go. Hel, Joan, Ya Ali. So remember, Ya yeah is when you're talking to someone. So who is this person talking to? Ali, which is a male name. So what are we going to say? Hel, Anta, Joan, Ya. Oops, that's pretty loud. And then Ali is going to respond saying, Naam, now he's talking about himself. Anna. Azim. Anna Joan. Abithnain. Min aina ustadak. Where's your teacher from? So remember the scarf here, ustadak or ustaduka. Your teacher. This right here, you're talking to your partner, one person. And they are asking, where's the teacher from? So what what's the gender of teacher here? Good, it's masculine. If it was feminine, it would have a tzat right here. But it's masculine. So which one do we use to describe the masculine? Hoa. So hoa min Masr. He is from Egypt. Or hoa min Masr. Okay, so now this one. Hal. We've got a blank. Masriya. Ya Aisha. So now we've got ya, just like we did up here. But this time, Aisha is a female name. If you didn't know the name, there's a tamar buta here. So that's a little clue. So which one do we use if I'm talking to her and she's female? Anti. Shohalu. And then she says, La, Anna. Very good. Zin. So notice Anna and Nahnu are gender neutral. It doesn't matter what your gender is, you're using the same word. Men Nadia. Who's Nadia? Good. She. Ya salam. Hiya khalat maha. She is. The aunt of Maha. Mada Yamal Walid Maha. What does he do or work? Father of Maha. So what does Maha's dad do? Remember when we do questions, you use the question article and the verb always comes before the subject, unlike English. So what does Maha's dad do? So if I'm talking about him and he's masculine. Oops, not trying to print. Good. Hoa. Ma sha Allah. Hoa Mutarjim. He's a translator for the Ummah Mutahada. Fi ayi saf. Ya shabab. Shabab is a new word. It's actually plural and it's if you're talking to a group of guys. So it's like saying, hey guys, what class are you guys in? And Tom. Very good. So it's a group of people that we're talking about. Bravo. And, so, and then if they are going to be responding, what are they going to say? They're a group of people. So they're going to respond saying, Nahnu, we are in Arabic class. Ma sha Allah. Okay. Askun fi mantaqat mazza. Mazza wa. This right here, we're talking about this region. 
Okay. So we want to say هي منطقة قريبة من جامع دمشق. Remember, there isn't a word for it. There's no gender neutral word for it. So if you want to refer to something as it, you have to use the feminine or the masculine. So in this case, هو or هي, using the he or she. So in this case, how do we know which one it is? It's because منطقة right here is feminine, has double with us. So we're going to use وهي منطقة قريبة من جامعة دمشق. زين. And then for the last one, we could do two things. Men, so you're asking who are blank. Blank are young guys from New York, men New York. So we could say men entum, who are you guys? Nahnu shabab min New York. Or you could say who are they? Men hum. And then the answer, the same thing. Who are they? They are hum shabab min New York. So now we're going to talk about verb conjugations for these plural pronouns, and then we'll get into the nouns. So here we go. We have already done a few of them, so I made a little chart here. So we're going to go over the chart. The singular ones we've already done, so you guys should already have these memorized. So I said, Anna Eskun. Remember, if you have a verb and you're talking about yourself, we start with Elif Hamza. Anna Eskun. For Anta and Enti, we take that alif hamza and we change it to a ta. So remember, whenever you're talking to someone, you're going to have a ta. Okay? Anta taskun, anti taskunin. Remember, you add the e into the end. Hua yaskun, he lives. Hia taskun, she lives. So these are your verb conjugations. How do you change the verb based on who you're talking about? Now we're going to do the plural. The plural for nahnu is very easy. If you want to say we are doing something or we are living or we are studying, all you do is you add a noon to the first first letter. So change whatever the original, if you're, change the alif from ana or if it's a ya from yaskun, you're going to change it and the first letter is going to be a noon for nahnu. Naskun, okay, so we live. For antum, what we're going to do is we're going to take the anta form, taskun, and we're going to add waw noon to then, un. And this un represents the plural. It's a pattern that's going to come up quite frequently. Okay. So in your notes, write that the wow noon is for the plural when there's three or more people. So if I said taskunun, if I said aina taskunun, and I asked all of you guys, where do you all live? So you're talking to a group of people. So remember that is second person if I'm talking to you. But if I'm talking about them, so I, if I want to say where do they live, what we do is we take the hua form, yaskun, the masculine form here, and then we just add un to the end, yaskunun. Both these, taskunun and yaskunun, are the male form, but they are also used for groups that have men and women. Okay, so we'll, we will pause on the, um, the feminine pronouns and just focus on these ones right now. Okay, so now you're going to take a second and you're going to fill out this form, yatakallam. So the verb is yatakallam, to speak. So this ya is the letter that's going to change in each one. Okay, so the, the letters that are going to stay the same in every one of these conjugations is going to be ta, kaf, lam, mim. Okay, so these four letters right here, takallam, is going to stay the same. What's going to change is the first letter. So if I change the first letter to alif hamza for ana, atakallam. If I change it to a noon for nahnu, natakallam. So pause the video. In your notes, write down this chart. Now that you've finished the chart, go ahead and pause it and make sure that you have gotten them all correct. Ana atakallam with the a. Nahnu natakallam with the noon. Anta tatakallam. So notice both ta's have to be there. For anti, the same exact thing. Tatakallam, but we're adding in. Tatakallamin. Antum tatakallam, just like anta, but add un to the end. Tatakallamun. Hoa yatakallam. Hiya tatakallam. So your ya and your ta. For your home, take your hua form and add the wow noon to the end. Home yatakallamun.